can keep in one word. But as God says, it says, your book says uh, that God is not the author of confusion. Am I correct, sir? This is confusion. No. But it is speech. Time is uh, running, and I believe there's a number of us who have other things to see to as well, like families, uh, for instance. Uh, we have had the, the last two questions, and I'm sorry there's still even so many questions. But as I can see from the pile of questions, many of these questions are directed to Reverend Eric Bach, and as I believe most of the people here live in or nearby Copenhagen, I am sure that Eric Bach would be willing to answer these questions any time to anybody who raises these questions to him at any other time. I'd like to thank Sheikh Ahmed Tidat for his comments, for his lessons to all of us. I'd like to thank Reverend Eric Bach for his contribution and Reverend Anna Kablbo also for his for his support to his colleague here and I think we have all enjoyed this debate greatly. Thank you very much for your attention. Please, please, please before before you all go, tomorrow at this place at six o'clock there will be another lecture. And tomorrow's topic, I just have to take it from my pocket just a second. Tomorrow's topic is Ahmed Tidat alone debating whether the Bible is God's word. And there will be full opportunity to raise questions again. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of the priests would be present again tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, Sheikh Tidat on his short visit to Denmark will be in Egmont Ho Petersen's Kollegia, which is to be found at Nur Ali 75 in Österport or Österbro. It is near the Wiebenhus Rundi. There Sheikh Didat will be talking on the subject Palestine or Israel. And that is also at six o'clock in the evening, Monday that is. <laughs>